There he is. He speaks. Markets move or don't move. Bitcoin not doing much right now on this six-hour chart that I really want to break down. There's one important reminder I just want to set and remind ourselves of on this chart. Outside of just this lower trend line that we've been tracking, an important area to watch today. And markets are moving, though. U.S. dollar currency index kind of look at this daily candle just massive to the upside. S&P down over a percent right now as I do this video. What is in play? It's been kind of confusing the fact that right now on the short term, Bitcoin is kind of holding its own. And I want to evaluate without trying to put hopium out there or anything. I want to evaluate a potential bullish play right now. But let's just talk about what's happening. What's what's playing into this? The latest, and this is a quote from Jerome Powell, the latest economic data have come in stronger than expected, which suggests that the ultimate level of interest rates is likely to be higher than previously anticipated. If the totality of the data were to indicate that faster tightening is warranted, we would be prepared to increase the pace of rate hikes. So I think markets are already, they already knew this. They already knew that rate hikes uh, potentially going to be higher than anticipated because of the strong economic data that recently came came out. But here is where things kind of just become very telling to us. I saw this tweet. This is watcher.guru said, Fed Chair Jerome Powell says many unusual factors are affecting inflation and don't know how this is going to play out. I want to remind you of something. A month ago, last time, one of the last times Jerome Powell spoke, look at this. This is him. There are many, many factors driving inflation in that sector, and they should be coming into play to have inflation. The disinflationary process begins begin in that sector. He's saying there are many, many factors. And what's he saying today? There are many unusual factors. Point is, just like the rest of us, Jerome Powell has great influences with, with his words, but he's sitting back and he's just waiting for data. He's just, he, has, he has no idea really what's going to happen next. And he just keeps saying the same thing. There's a lot of factors that go into this, right? And we evaluate as things progress. And what's so interesting, it's exactly the same thing that we do on these Bitcoin charts, on, on these crypto charts when we evaluate. We wait for data and we wait for certain confirmations. He's doing the same thing. Markets are doing the same thing. And these moves that we're getting right now are so short term. That's why it's so important, I think, to really start zooming out on the charts all of the time because everything that's happening today as you watch this video you will forget about it likely even in a week, right? So in, in this little move right here, even if there's a, a big dip down to 20,000 and it looks terrible in the next couple of days, in a week, in two weeks, in a month, in three months, five months, eight months, everybody will have forgotten about it. And so I just wanted to just kind of reel that in for a second. So let's talk about this move on the Bitcoin chart. It's this lower trend line move that we've been tracking, right? Now, we obviously have higher lows at the bottom of the trend line, but it's not just the trend line. I wanted to show you when we get structure, and it's so often the case, we get these retracements, right? We get these Fibonacci higher low retracements. So yeah, it's a higher low on the trend line, but check this out. Here's this first initial swing low in January, mid-January, to the upper trend line swing high. And what did Bitcoin do as it started beginning to form this broadening, uh, this rising broadening wedge structure? What did it do? It retraced to a higher low. And what was the higher low? The higher low was this Fibonacci support, a 618 and the 786. And confident with that is that lower trend line. So Bitcoin just retraced so nicely to a higher low, saw support as often is the case, as what we want to see, and continue to bounce off of that. While that was happening, we had things like momentum oscillators cooling down during that move, right? Going into oversold during that move. Now, here we are, if we open up this chart again and we look at Bitcoin, here we have a swing low, that last swing low in mid-February, two swing high to the upper trend line, which happened quite quickly. And then we've most recently trickled down, not just to the lower trend line, but look where Bitcoin is right now. And this is a six hour zoomed in chart, not even spending time on the daily right now. This is a six hour chart. So we're like hugging that trend line and confluent with that is a 786 of this Fibonacci. This is a higher low Fibonacci that we want to see support at. And so far, it's been pretty incredible to see the 786 support. Now, I think we should be very mindful of the fact that this is all new right now. Earlier in the day as I do this video, 
Markets are digesting this. And we have to keep an incredibly close eye on the power of the, the, the dollar. Is this going to continue to the upside? Because right now, Bitcoin, it's surprisingly holding strong, right? It really is considering what's happening with the, these headlines and the news right now. Risk on, usually when U.S. dollar currency index is rising, usually that's falling. Bitcoin usually falling. But right now, it's, it's holding its own, and it's incredibly surprising to watch this. Now, if we look at Bitcoin, though, as markets digest this news, if the U.S. dollar continues to the upside, S&P stock market continues to fall, this support, as we've been tracking it, and look at the sideways, it really could be just about to break. It could just be waiting for markets to digest better so that it can make its move breaking to the downside. Now, if the markets just get over what Powell said and actually start realizing, hey, he said something so similar a month ago, right? And, and people are, were already anticipating that, yeah, there's going to be higher interest rates because infl recent inflation data not looking as good as anticipated. So everybody kind of knew everything that's happening right now. Nothing new has really come out. If markets figure that out and they just say, okay, we do a little bit of consolidation, here's a little bit of red, here's a daily candle on the stock market, S&P 500, if it puts in a higher low, we see support at the daily or even this lower trend line, and markets just continue to the upside, this could be the play for Bitcoin on this six hour to hold its higher low area. One thing to note is if we open up uh, the oscillators over here, there is just the consolidation on the slower moving momentum oscillator, which we want to see the, the, the consolidation from overbought into really this oversold. Didn't touch oversold, but we, we cooled down, of course. That's good that that's happened. But right now, coming out of overbought on the stock RSI. So a little weird to see with this sideways consolidation that uh, Bitcoin on the quicker moving momentum oscillator kind of has some room to the downside. The reason I bring that up is because maybe Bitcoin does react negatively today. But what if markets do recover quickly? They surprise us all the time with moves like that, maybe tomorrow. If support fails, and we've talked about this, and Bitcoin does fall, be prepared, maybe 5%, 10% to the downside, be prepared for a pullback. This is something we see often. And it's something that's always kind of on the back of my mind. So if support doesn't hold here, what happens if Bitcoin falls 5%, 10% to the downside, out of the Fibonacci, out of the lower trend line, maybe not even 5% to 10%, maybe we're just 3%, 3 4%. What happens with a pullback? The question will be then, is there support to get back into this channel above the trend line? This is something we often see with pattern setups. Even, you know, we can, we can track it with a rising broadening uh, wedge, which is a pullback and a break into uh, the pattern itself. So that's something I'll be monitoring. But of course, going to continue monitoring, you can see US dollar currency index testing this previous high that we had uh, the end of February. One thing to note is this also putting in a lower high on the uh, daily momentum oscillator as that's happening. So here's that end of February swing high right now testing that high with a lower high on the oscillator. US dollar, US dollar could be kind of losing some steam, losing some momentum. This could play big into the bullish case for Bitcoin to hold support. I'm not trying to throw any support, any hopium out there, everybody. But as we evaluate the charts, we already know what downside looks like for Bitcoin. Downside target right around nineteen to twenty thousand dollars. If all of this crumbles and breaks to the downside, we have been prepared for this for weeks as we've been tracking Bitcoin and the story uh, of this consolidation, uh, higher low, higher high consolidation. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below how you're doing out there. I hope you're doing well. I'll see you in the next video. Hit that subscribe, hit that like. Thank you so much. God bless.